now we will define our concrete materials properties so same again just click here add new materials properties united state then materials type will be concrete and a standard customary or user so if you click customary then they have some values default values okay and if your values is same as with that value then you can use any of that okay or any of this but if your value is not same as that value then you can click at user and we can change it so when your value is same as this value you can change it easily and if you change it if you click ok just see all value is just given here simply click here ok that's it nothing to change anything but if you need to change anything if you need to calculate it manually then how we'll do it i'll show you it so just click here add new materials properties then concrete i'll click here user and as per user how we can change it how we can set it as per our data we can i mean i will now show you that then okay so first of all you have to write here f maybe f f prime c so value of f prime c, i mean uh, 28 days compressive a strength 28 days cylindrical compressive a strength taste of our um, value from our 28 days compressive a strength taste so uh, what will be that value it's depend on your project so as we are going to design a 15 s story building i think it should be it shouldn't be less than 400 4500 psi values clear now here you need weight uh, weight per unit volume so we all know that for concrete it's 150 pound but they have some issue so if you use if you use brick chips always remember that i will show you a a slide so here and also if you need to learn about our professional course you may visit here everything is available there now uh, i'll just go here for concrete properties you have to understand this value is as per our ASC and ACI code now as we are using fps method so as per mks method this value is given now if you are using a stone aggregate under enforced then its value will be 22.8 kilonewton per meter cube it's wet then for brick aggregate obviously under enforced concrete so it will be 22.4 kilonewton per meter cube and for reinforced concrete at 0.63 kilonewton per meter cube for each one percent by volume of main reinforcement so if you use one percent reinforcement in your concrete then at 0.63 kilonewton if you use two percent concrete two percent reinforcement in concrete with respect to its volume then use two times of zero point or add two times of 0 0.63 kilonewton wet now we have some precise value here see for in fps method if we use a stone aggregate clear a stone aggregate then unit weight will be 150 lb per feet cube so this value is already given here lb per feet cube clear but if we use brick aggregate sometimes for lower structure or sometimes for uh, a small structure what we do we use brick chips but when you are using brick, brick chips but you are using uh, unit weight for 150 pound it's very unnecessary why because when you will use that uh, weight i mean when you are using brick chips which weight are 100 
35 pound only less 50 pound less than our a stone now we realize that thousands i mean thousand uh, cft or more than uh, lakh uh, cft or million cft uh, work we complete now every time if you provide 15 pound unnecessarily then how much load you are applying without any reason so when you will apply excess load when you will apply unnecessary load it is really no needed so always remember that when you are using a stone aggregate then use that and when you are using brick aggregate then use that clear now as we are as we are designing a 15 story building so must will use a stone aggregate as a concrete i mean in concrete so we will use that value this is already given here and this value will automatically convert it now modules of elasticity this is most important point this is most important thing so for poison ratio it's okay coefficient of thermal expansion it's also okay now we'll change here modules of elasticity now which value actually will consider which equation you'll consider i will just come here now see for uh, mks if you're using using mks unit then use that values for megapascal and megapascal but as we are using fps unit system so we'll use that value in psi and you may see here this value is also needed lb per inch square that means pound per inch square i mean psi so as we are using a stone aggregate so we will use that equation and must remember that if value of f prime c will be in psi so 57000 into root over f prime c that you but if you are using brick aggregate then you have to use that option so this is the modus of elasticity this is the most important element of our designs as a design element because if our this this is the value of e so well what is the e stiffness of our structure what do we know about e stiffness that means the more e stiffness means more a strong structure so if you are using a stone a stone aggregate then our see the value i mean the multiplication multiply value is more than that value okay so uh, this value is more than this value why because we are using a stone so when we will a strong we will get high modus of elasticity and when we'll get high modus of elasticity we'll get high stiffness because what is the uh, equation of stiffness product of moment of inertia and modus of elasticity is sometimes refers as a stiffness so uh, we have to do it now this is our equation clear for that also i'll use the excel sheet to uh, identify that you will get that excel sheet in our uh, course material section here our excel design parameters you will be able to download that excel file for free uh, this link given in our description or in link also uh, maybe you will get that on our course material section so They have many things actually weight calculation many things many things now what we'll do we'll find out ec and es so uh for ec from here you have to provide the uh, value so what is our value we know 4500 psi and aggregate types aggregate types it's a stone clear so what will be our ec this is our value copy copy that paste it here as a value and again click here and copy it copy it and take it here and if you don't want to use that excel sheet and also if you want to use manually that value so how we can do it just delete that press five five seven zero 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 then multiply sign then 
फोर फाइव जीरो जीरो द वेल ऑफ एफ प्राइम सी एंड विथ पावर ऑफ जीरो पॉइंट फाइव सो द स्क्वायर ऑफ जीरो पॉइंट फाइव मेन्स रूट ऑफ आई मीन मेन्स रूट क्लियर सो जस्ट इंटर सी दिस वैल्यू इज सेम एस दिस वैल्यू क्लियर सेवेंटी सिक्स ऑल्सो हेयर थर्टी एट सेवेंटी सिक्स इन दिस वे ऑल्सो यू कैन एट दैट वैल्यू then simply and also for advanced materials and uh, for non-linear analysis will not use that value at this time and then for uh, dumping materials will not use that value time dependent properties this is also available here so uh, let and models of rupture for crack def uh, deflection program default based on concrete slab design code okay and if you want to provide that value as a user specific then you can add it here as per your code or as per your calculation but i will use that value because it has this highly advanced software to uh, design a, a structure i hope this value will be i mean by using that option will be a good uh, i mean will give a will give us a good result so i'll just click okay then see here we have assigned that value and also we have assigned that value Our two value is available here, and uh, the default value we cannot delete or delete it. So just simply click OK, and now perfectly we have provided our materials properties. Okay, so now there are another thing. Suppose already you have a properties, and if you want to make a replicate of it, so you simply click here, add copy of materials, change that name, and change your value. I mean, see all previous value are same. Okay, all previous values are same. So you can change it as per the requirement. So uh, you know, next lecture we'll go for section properties. Thank you. Thank you very much.